Welcome to Word Practice 2. To begin, start Word and open Starter Word Practice 2 from your Data Files folder. Save the file as your last name, your first name, Word Practice 2 in your Word folder. Show the formatting marks and turn on the ruler. On the Layout tab, in the Page Setup group, choose the arrow under Margins. Choose Custom Margins. In the Page Setup dialog box, change the left and right margins to 1 inch. Then click OK. On the Insert tab, in the Header and Footer group, choose Footer then Edit Footer. In the Header and Footer Toolbar Design tab in the Insert group, choose the arrow under Document Info. Add the file name to the footer. Note, another way to get to the footer is to double-click in the lower margin portion of the document. To exit the footer, double-click anywhere above the footer or below the header it is preferable to find a quiet space to click in. Starting at the top of your document, select all of the text in the document. On the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, select Align Left. Move your insertion point to the top of the document. Select the title only. PVCC Fine Arts Division. Using the mini toolbar, change the font size of the title text to 36. Using the technique you just learned, change the font of the second paragraph, Trainee Program, to 24. Select the first two paragraphs and center align them. Compare the first page in your document to the example. Note, another way to select the two paragraphs is to use the control key on your keyboard. This is especially helpful when the sections are non-adjacent. Select the entire document. On the Home tab, Paragraph Group, Select the arrow next to Line and Paragraph Spacing. Change the line spacing for the entire document to 1.5 and save the document. Set the indentation for the paragraph that begins Our Trainee Program to First Line Indent. This is done by launching the Paragraph dialog box on the Home tab. In the Paragraph dialog box, on the Indents and Spacing tab, under Indentation, set the special box to First Line by 0 0.5. Click OK. Notice on the ruler a marker has been set at the 0.5 inch mark on the ruler. In the next paragraph, which begins, As a Trainee, Drag the first line indent marker to the 0.5 mark on the horizontal ruler. Using either method, apply a first line indent of 0.5 inches to the paragraph beginning with, Here is a partial. Select the entire document. Launch the paragraph dialog box on the Home tab. In the Paragraph dialog box, on the Indents and Spacing tab, change the After Paragraph spacing for the entire document to 6 points. Click OK. Select the two subheadings, Requirements and Upcoming Training Programs, and change the Before Paragraph spacing for the section to 12 points. 
Select the paragraph starting with educational and the next two paragraphs and apply bullets. Bullets are located on the Home tab, Paragraph Group, Bullets. Choose the first bullet option. Select the three trainee positions and apply bullets. Use the same bullet style that you applied in the previous step. Apply the same bullets to all four paragraphs that begin with the October meeting dates. Position the insertion point at the end of the paragraph starting with our requirements, following the colon, and press enter. If necessary, on the ruler, drag the first line indent marker to the left so that it is positioned directly above the lower button and type the following lines. Select and format all three lines as a bulleted list. Select all four of the October meetings. Use the mini toolbar and select the check mark symbol as a bullet. Use Format Painter and change the bullets for the two bulleted lists on page one. The Format Painter is on the Home tab, Clipboard Group. To use the Format Painter, select the area first, then click the Format Painter icon once to activate it. Then select the area that you would like to paint. This will apply the format you originally selected. Note, if you double click the Format Painter, it will hold the format so that it can be applied to multiple sections. Turn off Format Painter. Select the bulleted list of October meeting dates on page 2. Ensure the tab indicator to the left of the horizontal rule is set to left tab. You can verify this by hovering your mouse over the tab indicator. If you click once, it will change the indicator. Using the horizontal ruler, set a left tab at the 4 inch mark. The left tab is set by clicking once on the 4 inch mark on the horizontal ruler. You will see the left tab indicator show up on the ruler. Drag the new tab marker at 4 inches to 4.5 inches on the horizontal ruler and then double click it to launch the tabs dialog box. Note, if the tabs dialog box does not display, launch the paragraph dialog box, then click tabs. In the tabs dialog box, ensure the 4.5 inch tab stop is highlighted. Change alignment to left. In the tab stop position, replace the 4.5 with 3.5. Select the 3 liter option and select Set. Clear the 4.5 tab stop position by selecting it, then clicking Clear. Repeat this process with all tab stops until the only one displayed is the 3.5 inch. Select OK to close the tabs dialog box. Compare your bulleted leader list to the example on your screen. In the bulleted list with dot leaders, position the insertion point at the end of the line starting with filming and ending with Studio A. Enter a new blank bullet item. Type Set Creation, press Tab, and type October 11th, 7 p.m., Cafeteria. Save your work. At the top of the document, click to the right of the subtitle Trainee Program and hit enter one time. On the Insert tab, Illustrations Group, insert a Circle Process Smart Art Graphic. In the first blue circle of the Smart Art Graphic, type Apply. In the placeholder in the middle row, type Interview. Notice how the Smart Art shape automatically resizes the text you enter for the best fit. In the third circle, type Learn. 
Click the outer border of the Smart Art to ensure the entire graphic is selected. On the Smart Art Toolbar, Format tab, Size Group, change the Smart Art Height to 2 and the Width to 6.5. With the Smart Art still selected, on the Smart Art Toolbar, Design tab, in the Smart Art Styles group, change the color to Colorful Accent Colors. Ensure the Smart Art is still selected. On the Smart Art Toolbar, Design tab, in the Smart Art Styles group, apply the 3D Cartoon Smart Art Style. Scroll to the end of the document or use the shortcut keys Control end Press Enter. On the Insert tab, Media Group, choose Online Video. In the search box next to YouTube, type PVCC Fine Arts to search for a video to embed. Select the video and click Insert. With the video selected, on the Picture Tools Format tab, in the Size group, change the height and width of the picture to 2 inches. On the Home tab, Paragraph group, center the video icon. Save your document and compare it to the example. You may need to make a few adjustments on your own. Submit the file for grading per your instructor's instructions. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.